Hey everybody, today I'm in Lyon, France, and I am going to show you what breakfast and pastries look like in this thousand-year-old historical city, the capital of food in France. Right now we're in the Old Quarter, which is just on the left bank of the Seine River, and it's a beautiful old neighborhood with cobblestone streets, restaurants that look just like you're in a movie or something. It's ridiculous. So let's have a look around and see what we can get to eat. So over here we have the Boulangerie de Palais. They have a bunch of red colored pastries. Super interesting looking. Let's go take a look. Wow, look at this bread. Piece Wow, look at all this red stuff. What makes it red? It's uh, the paling. It's uh, um, almond with sugar. Uh, that one on top looks insane. <laughs> look at all these layers here. So it's red because they use these red pralines, which are like these really sweet almonds. Why they're red, no one seems to know. It's just what they do here in Lyon. Let's try it out. Really, really sweet almondy. Got that sugar on top. Ah. There's like no way I could eat this whole thing. Mmm. It just crumbles every bite you take. Super messy. It's a big meat truck. Look at this thing. Wow. It's so cute. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and uh, there's all these little kids walking alone to school. Kind of surprising. You wouldn't see that in the US. I've only seen that in Tokyo before. I've seen kids as young as about seven walking by themselves. All right, I did want to get some coffee first, but this place has a ridiculous looking apricot tart. Let's see if they're open. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, they have uh, tartines also. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me see. Wow, look at this. She even wrapped it up for me. Just look at the color on this thing. It's got this great buttery crunch. The apricots are like super juicy. It looks really dry from the outside, but it's not dry at all once you bite into it. Fresh, buttery, sweet, little crunch on the bottom. I love it. Okay, the price of that apricot tart was 350 euros and worth every freaking penny. Delicious. Now we're about to walk across the bridge to see what another neighborhood has to offer. This is a beautiful pedestrian bridge that takes you from the old quarter to the more central island in the middle of the city. Down here by the riverfront is just completely gorgeous. You've got these huge sycamores, beautiful old buildings, and this beautiful view of the river. All right, now we're leaving the riverside and walking into a neighborhood in the middle of the city called Belcourt Carnot. Okay, so on Google, most of the coffee shops open this early actually have quite bad reviews, except for this place. It's called Dust Cafe. All right. Bonjour. 
Vladimir Zatko. We're off to a good start. <laughs> good sign there. Uh, ca- cappuccino, please? Yeah, thank you. This coffee looks really nice. Let's try it out. Yeah, proper. No sugar needed. All right, so that was $3 for cappuccino. Really delicious, best one I've had so far. We're gonna keep walking and go check out another neighborhood. All right, now we're down by the main train station and this little park is called the Place Carnot. It's very cute, huge old trees, lots of kids and birds and people reading newspapers. This really cool tunnel connects the two sides of the main train station. All right, so now we're down in the south part of the island here in Lyon, in this neighborhood called Confluence. Very few older buildings and a ton of construction you can see everywhere. It's a really nice contrast with uh, old Lyon, much uh, different architecture. Trying to find somewhere good to eat. Okay, so finally down here at the bottom tip of the island and in the Confluence neighborhood is the Musée de Confluence, which is a architecture museum and some other stuff in there. It's actually closed right now, but it's an interesting uh, architectural building. So over here is the Rhone River. And the museum is right here. Okay, now we're going to leave the main island and walk across the Rhone River to check out some of the neighborhoods on the east bank of the river. Bye-bye, museum. Are you open? You want to eat now? Yeah. Yes, it's possible. Great. You choose, uh, you have to choose there. Oh. Uh, we, we make it in here. Salmon mousse, hummus, vegetables, and then chili con carne, pork breast, pork head. And then over here, we have a whole bunch of beers and wines. They even have dried nuts over here, interesting. So we take one of these baskets and just put all the stuff in there, I guess. Those are the veggies here. And then some calf head. Uh, and the IPA. So how does it work? Do they, um, do we just eat it out of there or? Some eat there. You can eat outside there. You can uh, take it, bring it with, um, and we've got some uh, kit um, with a knife and fork and uh, you can take it to eat at the office. Oh great. Yeah, no, here is, here would be good. Here is good. Wow, that color. Look at that. This is a local IPA called La Metallo. Cool. So they serve it with the bread there. Uh, yeah. So this place has a really interesting concept. It's like a social good organization. They work with local handicapped young people uh, to give them work here in Lyon. And they prepare all the food in these terrines. So you can either eat here and they sort of help you open it up and present it well for you. Or you can also just take it to the office or take it home. Pretty interesting concept. I don't think I've seen that before. Beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, unreal. Try some of this salmon mousse first. Bon appetit. So it's called a mousseline de salmon. Mousseline. I think that's some sort of like egg souffle with salmon in there. That's what it tastes like. It's really nice. And add some of the olive oil from the dried tomato. Oh yeah. Local IPA, look at the color on this. 
so good. So now we have the calf's head. How does that work exactly? Like, does it have the whole calf's head in there or what? Let's find out. It's almost like they turned the whole calf's head into sausage type stuff. No, I think that's just a vegetable. Never mind. Ooh, wow. I found the head part. I'm a little scared. Let's try it. It's so big and jelly looking. Look at this. Mm, quite soft meat, actually. Flavor's not weird or anything. The way they've cooked it is just like with a bunch of vegetables and sort of like a watery type sauce. I don't know if that's the best um, presentation, but um, maybe if I try it with some of the um, sun-dried tomato oil, just to see if that gives it a nice little fat. Mmm, that's nice. So yeah, the meat doesn't really bother me. It's actually qu quite tender, um, almost like um, brisket, something like that. But presentation could be a little better. It's sort of just like cooked in water with vegetables. I think like a heavier sauce would probably do it more justice. Now we've got this wheat legume de saison, eight seasonal vegetables. Which eight? Well, looks like we've got some pickle, cabbage, carrot, but that's only three. I don't know what the other five are. Let's have a taste. Oh, got some eggplant, looks like. Ooh, tiny bit spicy. Little radish there. Let's try some carrot. Oh, quite nice. A little bit sweet, tiny bit spicy, a little oily. All right, so now we're over here in the Jean Massé neighborhood, which is also on the east side of the river. It's sort of a mix of old and new. This place looked pretty interesting. It had really good reviews. It's called King Marcel, so it's a French-style burger, whatever that means. All right, King Marcel. Oh, sorry, my French is terrible. Uh, if you want, we have money in English here. Oh, there we go. That helps. Hmm, okay. Un Marcel du Marché, s'il vous plaît? Yep. Uh, do you want to eat here to take away? Uh, here is good. Yep. Yeah, thank you. And then one of, I guess, these... Medium rare. rare. Yes. Bloody mm. ice to the thing. Yeah, uh, it's whatever you want, and then we'll bring the rest to you. Merci beaucoup. I ordered the seasonal special, which I also don't know what that is. So we'll see what comes out. I've been wanting a burger for a while now. I don't know, are burgers French? Does that count? If anyone knows the history of burgers, leave a comment down below. I think they're British, but they've been in France long enough. It counts. It counts as local food. Okay, this local beer is a double IPA, I guess. I've noticed that here in Lyon, there's a big focus on biodynamic foods. I think that's basically like organic, but a little more hardcore. So not only are you not using chemicals, but you're also focusing on sustainability, I think. Usually it results in high quality foods. Let's try it out. Sweet, delicious, nice. Okay, the burger has just come, and look at this. These fries look amazing. They're like those double or triple fried. And the burger looks massive. Oh yeah, this is the Marche, the in-season one. Cheese, avocado, tomato, onion and lettuce, and some like Thousand Island type sauce. Mmm. Nice little brioche bun. The meat could have a little more fat, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Nice and rare. All right, that was awesome. So, hey guys, it's about noon time, and we tried a bunch of restaurants. It's officially no longer breakfast, so I'm gonna wrap up the video there. Thanks so much for your support. See you in the next one.